My mother was always a treasure hunter. Any garage sale we would come across, consignment shop, there's no way we weren't gonna stop. Stuff that was junk to everybody else was a treasure to her, just something that had been overlooked. My favorite of these stories is the time we go to an auction and they roll out this giant chest, I mean, as, as wide as my arms, locked with no key. I was so grateful for a mother that had this innate sense of hidden treasure. She had to bid on it. No locksmith is available for several days, which means I'm sitting next to this chest, staring at it, prying at it, poking, trying to figure out any way I can to get into it. What is in this thing? I've got to know, this is killing me. Fast forward three days, our local locksmith comes and pays us a visit. We've got friends and family gathered in the room, ready for the big reveal. He tells us he may not be able to get into it, it's too old. He gets down and he's working his magic with his tools and I'm sitting right next to it, waiting for the moment when finally, click, and he looks at me and I can tell, like we're getting it. It opens and we were not disappointed. The sense of adventure, the sense of wonder was really inspired at that moment. How many people had looked at that chest and because they couldn't see the contents inside, they just were not interested. But that's what intrigued me about it. And that's really what Wonder Voyage is about. We give that opportunity for adventure, that opportunity to explore and see what's behind the curtain. If you'd be willing to take the risk to open it. Will you join us to take the risk to wonder?